Uh, we've got uh, a new face uh, with us at the Property Law Alliance on our Wednesday webinar today. And that's Claire. And Claire, I believe that you are the legal manager at SSLR. Uh, I don't know great. if you just want to quickly introduce yourself to our viewers. It's good to have a new face with us. Thank you. It's good to be here. Um, yeah, my name is Claire Laurent. I'm a senior associate and recently a legal manager. So I uh, basically oversee all of our uh, practitioners, um, mostly with residential, uh, but um, all aspects of, of property law. Nice. It's, it's, a, it's, it's very nice to have you with us. So I think to, to kick it off, we've got a question by Kay Dumont. I apologize if I butchered your name, but the question goes, if a lease agreement has ended and a tenant decides to squat on the property, despite the landlord giving him reasonable notice to vacate, can the landlord move into his own property, seeing as there is no longer a lease agreement in place? Okay, what advice can we provide to Kate in this regard? Well, I think, um, Bruno, you'd agree with me. We, we do get this uh, posed quite a, quite a bit. And it's understandable. I think most people uh, see it as well. There's no contract in place. And I own this property, so I'm, I'm moving back in, um, which, which would be a nice in, uh, or ideal in, um, in, any, in any setting. But unfortunately, there is... Uh, laws relating to to what the landlord can and can't do in, in these circumstances. Um, so this is seen, it would be seen by the landlord as an act of spoliation, which is if we think that that tenant, tenant is in occupation of the property, they, they hold possession over the property. So whether they occupy the property lawfully or not, whether there's a contract in place or not, if they're in possession of the property, any act which is taken by any other person, including the owner, to disturb the use and enjoyment of the property is seen as an act of spoliation for which the tenant does have recourse. And um, um, the, the, the consequences are, unfortunately, that it may prejudice an eviction in the long run or even expose the owner to, to a cost order if, if that tenant applies to court for, for a spoliation order. In essence, the, the, the position is that an owner can't take the law into their own hands and you have to unfortunately follow a lawful process of obtaining an eviction order from a court. Thanks, Lynn. I really appreciate that. Uh, Kedema, I hope that answers your question. I'm sure it does. 